Welcome in to Bon Appetit, and this time we're serious about Bon Appetit. <laughs> we <laughs> really serious mean time. it. It's about time. We are going to talk about things that you eat that keep you healthy, and we couldn't have a better person. Pam, we've Thank had you. you before, and you're so knowledgeable. And tell us exactly what you do with Baptist, because I think it's wonderful. Sure. I um, am the manager at the Center for Diabetes at Baptist, and we teach people how to manage their diabetes successfully, and anyone with a nutrition problem or just some nutrition, they need some nutrition for cholesterol or weight loss or hypertension. We have registered dietitians there in classes that can give you correct information about how to get on a good eating plan. And now, you, you do those a couple of times a month. Do we do. Right. We are open Monday through Friday and again we specialize in helping people manage their diabetes successfully and then we do the other classes interspersed within the week. Now, mm -hmm. are they, how does somebody attend one of these classes? If you, wanna, if you need diabetes education, you go through your physician and he sends okay. an order right. uh, and a referral, but the extra classes for say blood pressure, weight loss, pre-diabetes, we wanna stop diabetes before it starts, mm -hmm. you can access by calling our program and we can give you those dates on that calendar. You don't need a physician's referral for that. Wonder, is there any mm -hmm. cost? Um, they're, they're the diabetes classes we file with your insurance, so okay. we check with your insurance. And the cost of the individual classes is either a twenty or a thirty dollar cost. It's a one time class. Either well an hour, worth it. Hour yeah. Well yeah. worth mm -hmm. it. Well, you were going to talk about vegetables today. And I fruits. was. I was looking. People say it's so confusing. There's so much nutrition information. Which diet is best? I even get confused to think, wow, is is that diet or that diet or did I miss that in school? But really, one of the ones that come to the forefront year after year after year is good, sound nutrition. It's called the DASH diet, and it stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop High Blood Pressure. Mm -hmm. DASH. DASH. You won't That's find good. it in the bookstore as a bestseller because it's not new or sexy or anything <laughs> like that. Right. It gotcha. is evidence-based. It's just good stuff, and this is what you do. Okay. Lots of fruits and vegetables lots of fruits and vegetables because mm -hmm. not only are fruits and vegetables low in sodium always unless they're canned or unless we add it to them right but they've got they're high in potassium they're high in fiber antioxidants which we need mm -hmm. so we want to talk about increasing our fruits and vegetables we also do lean meats for that meal plan low fat dairy skimmer one percent milk and appropriate oils but really would love for people to increase their their increase of fruits and vegetables now, if you do have a problem with diabetes, you would have to watch your fruit. Right, because that right? is carbohydrates. We, okay. we, we want to put that in the diet, but we've got to count that and account for it. But what I have here is your free, not starchy vegetables that literally we want half the plate full. So actually, if, I, if I'm hungry, I'm trying to lose weight, mm -hmm. and, I, and I want to keep things in my refrigerator that I can mm -hmm. go to. Right. Could I just eat as many of as much cauliflower, as many Brussels sprouts, part of it is being full right. for and that me, has so lots I'm of fiber. not hungry. Right. And the good news is, is what you said, the more we have convenient, the more we eat. So That's if you true. wash that cauliflower and break it apart, if you've got some baby carrots, we tend to gravitate to what's easy, like That's that, true. that candy I bar do. is easy I do. to unwrap. <laughs> <laughs> so if, yes, we, if we want good habits, we purchase those, have those in our homes, and prepare those um, and there's several convenient, already washed, already bagged up, right. if you don't want to have to cook those at home. And so so the that's half the battle. the difference between cooked and raw vegetables, mm -hmm. no difference whatsoever? You do there is. There is. Mm -hmm. Okay. You lose some nutrients in some of your when cook, you cook if you cook them in a lot of water. And it right. depends on what vegetable it is, if those nutrients are going to leach out in the water. For okay. instance, broccoli is better for you uncooked. Mushrooms, which have a tremendous amount of vitamin D, uh, you get more nutrients with them cooked. Okay. It's interesting to study what the is science that, of yeah, it. the science of all of it and what mm -hmm. gives you more raw mm -hmm. and what gives you more cooked. Okay, let me ask you a big question. Soup. Mm -hmm. Soup. Soups. Soups are notoriously high in sodium because they're in a can. No, no, I mean if you, oh, if make, you make your make own homemade your soup. Make your soups, wonderful, then, because you're right. going you're gonna to drink that broth. Right. So you haven't lost any nutrition because right. you're going to drink that great way to get your vegetables. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's also mm -hmm. a way, I mean, obviously if you do want to have some meat, you mm -hmm. can put a, an amount of meat in there, which also gives it some flavor. Mm -hmm. And at the same time then, that meat is going to probably be 
because it's chopped up in you there. You get a smaller you're amount. Smaller amount. That's yeah, excellent. Right. A good way to do that. Yeah. Yes. So Pam, if 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 I decided I was just going to do all fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. but I've got to get protein in there. You do. Too. And so I we're can't. not excluding that. We okay. just want a smaller amount. We're wanting right. the lower fat proteins. Okay. You know, you know what we know already: baked broil, grill, right. that right. type of stuff. Low fat dairy products. And what we want to do is not as many as the extra calories that we don't need. Okay. The snacks, the sugary things, the very rich fatty red meats. We really want to get, yeah, we know that. I right. don't have to tell you that. Right. If we it's could just eliminate, a matter of doing it. If we could eliminate one thing from a diet to make mm. our, our lives healthier, what would you pick? Ooh. I'm curious. Because I'm from the South and because I do diabetes, this is what I'd okay. pick. Sugary beverages. We oh, preach yeah. no yeah. sugar in your drinks because okay. right. for diabetes that translates into immediate high blood sugar. Okay. Right. And if we could get out of, off our Kool-Aid and sweet tea and colas, I could really put a plug in the healthcare system. <laughs> Amen. You sure could. That's nice to know. And that's okay. a choice. That's a yeah. choice whether you pick up water from the sink right. mm -hmm. or a Coca-Cola, uh, not I shouldn't say a Coca-Cola, I should say a soda pop Right. that has sugar in it. And we so just modify have to do behavior, that. Yes. change right. your behavior. Yes, yep. I love it. Okay, it. Jack, we will. We're not having any colas. Well, I don't have anyway. Uh, we're <laughs> I'm a water guy. <laughs> I am too. So. Drink more water. Absolutely. And thank you for being with us, and we'll be back to help you more with preventative health care in your diet.